What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing a lion and a tiger, kind of like a split image, right? Right, so let's go. Landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser. Sketch it out lightly before you do any ink, right? Pencil for these. So, center point of my page is about there. We're just gonna come up over to the, we'll go right. Start with the lion's eye. So, yeah, let's just go. So we'll go. Yeah, let's go up and across. So they look like they're real serious looking, they're angry looking. Like so. Right, and we'll give the lion some eyelashes. So we'll make this kind of spiky just back here and a darker line, right? And this kind of comes down to a spike here. And a spike at the top. And then we bring it around. So they've got real flat eyes in this image, they look like. Real serious. And the iris. Just like a half circle just coming around from here and up to the other side and then the pupil just comes down from the eye lid just there like so okay and then around this eye you're just going to color it black Okay, like so. Right, so then if you want inside, you can add like some more sort of detail lines to the pupils and stuff. To the iris. Okay, so then we've got lions kind of have these sort of areas inside their eyes. So we've got like a top eyelid line and then we have this white sort of section that comes around here right, and then we've got like this whisker sort of area it can be furry because sometimes whiskers do come out of these and then the eyelid sort of there Do as much sort of fur around here as you want. Right, we'll do the tiger's eye, right? So we'll go two eyes over, right? So the width of the eye goes once, twice, and that's where the tiger's eye will start, right? Slightly different sort of shape for the tiger's eye as well. So we'll go sort of curvier, and it sort of curves a little bit that way. And then it comes to this spike and back down, like so. Back into these two little spiky areas here. Okay, so the main thing is like two eyes will fit in between once, twice. And that's where this shape will start. And then you can do his iris. Just a half circle. Coming down like so. And then again, the pupil sort of underneath here. And you can color it in black. Now if you want to add any texture lines on the inside, you can. And we'll just color around black. And again, our tiger has a little sort of section that comes out around underneath again, much like the lion there. And he also has this kind of thing that comes out. So 
let's do the curvy eyebrow area and an eyelid line just coming around there okay so we'll go down and do the nose right so on felines see the width between the eyes you have an equal distance from here down to the nose pretty much right so like say this if you turn on the eye it'll bring you down to like the top of the nose so roughly like here so that's normally true for all sort of cats right so like here to here is about the same as here to here like it's a rough guide but there to there is about the same distance either way let's see like it's just like the tip of the marker and we'll go to there okay so that'll give you a distance to the nose and then we'll just draw the pink section first right so the tigers is pink but the lines is kind of darker orange so this curves down has it like a w shape here and then it goes back up and around to there right and then they have this black sort of spike on the side there and this comes down around and so it's all dark in here And that's like the middle and then we go back up the lines one appears to be wider a little bit Okay, and then we can just add sort of lines just going up for the snout, just on the inside of his eye. And it's kind of the same on both sides, really. Maybe like just like a line up the middle as well. Okay, so then their mouth. So we'll go down the middle. And then it'll start to curve around, right? And it can be a hairy sort of textured kind of line if you want. So curving around. And we'll just go join like the inside of his face just there. So the tigers will do the lines like a little bit lower down, sort of hangs down a bit more. So you could do them exactly the same if you wanted, but... Right. like so and then they both have these sort of sections for the whiskers but the lines is more like sort of dots that's just come across his fur the tigers is more stripy so the tigers say It'll be like thicker like this some of them could be like full-on lines okay this is in the chin so they both have a sort of a hairy kind of spiky kind of chin just sticking down like this Just these spiky hairlines. Like that. And then their mouth and lips are kind of inside here, right? So kind of like curves around. Comes up. Across. Down. Like so. 
and it's like a black lip so and it's kind of hairy as well and you can just see teeth a few teeth inside there Maybe another one just like in here somewhere and then tiny little ones just coming across like the spikes just for the sharp ones and then a couple of flat there and then in around here we're just going to shade it in dark right because you can't really see any there's no light getting in there so you just want to darken it up Okay, and then just like some fur lines and texture. The tiger might have like some spots and stuff on his side. Okay, so now like the shapes for their face, right? So you'll have sort of like a jaw going up that way. And a jaw going up this way on the tiger so the difference is now the on the lion and the tiger so the jaw for the tiger goes that way and we have loads of stripes the tigers becomes his like the lion sorry becomes his like face basically right so it comes up becomes his mane you know and he's got this spiking sort of section that goes the whole way up and in Right, like that kind of thing, and he'll have like some just some texture lines to show on his face, just going in there, and then like a jawbone or something like a cheekbone. Like that, right? And then our tiger's fur, right? It'll come, it'll nearly join the chin basically right so it comes like it, start, it keeps going from the chin and it starts to just go up around right the, t the lion's mane is like it's like much bushier and then our tiger up around to the ear we just keep going this way going up there okay now our lion on this side this fur starts to like go really like it's got all textured and stuff going out this way right and then the, the lion's head joins goes in behind the ear So it'll be like the ear will stick out here. We'll do that first. And then it goes around. And like this, right? And then you'll have like the inside part. Of the ear there. And then there's like some fur inside there so like you know just like like a dark part or something here be 
like some stripes and stuff on this. Right, and then the top of the lion's head, the tiger's head goes this way. Into there, and this is like all lion's mane then. Okay, so we'll finish our lion and then we'll do tiger stripes, right? Because there's loads of that and it'll take a while. So, lion's mane. So we just have some ones that come over his ear first, right? So they kind of come down this way. And then the ear sort of sticks out here, right? You can just see like the top of it. And so that's his like ear in here. And then his mane comes out around here. You can go out as wide as you want. We keep it kind of tight, maybe. It can be as kind of scruffy as you want or as messy. Okay, and then all we can see of the tiger is like his neck kind of in the back and you could go as wide like so neck kind of goes in there and then shoulder say they're like sitting so goes maybe that way. Okay, and this is just like all mane and stuff that goes up here. So then stripes for the tiger, right? So this will take a while. So They like curve around the face basically, it goes around. So like, they'll start like curving around his fur and in towards the forehead, okay? So say like above the eye, right? They start to like, and you can do them kind of scribbly because he's furry sort of creature, okay? So see what I mean? So like this will go. And they get thicker in some places and So see like this, so wrapping around the face, right? Right, and then there's some like black stripes that come in towards the body just down here. Okay, all right. Um, I'll just like thicken up some of the edge some of the lines around the edge of the animals. This can like help your drawing sometimes. Just make things stand out around the outside. Makes the inside more visually appealing as well. So you'll just like.
Leave that kind of thing. And then maybe these whiskers down here. Okay, and then as much of these stripes and dots and stuff as you want to put on your tiger, you can keep going. And all that's left is whiskers. The sound effects you can do or not. I just like to do them. And there's sometimes the whiskers coming off these things. I think this should be colored black as well. Yeah, those lips kind of look better now. Okay, but I think I'll leave it there. It's how to draw a lion and a tiger split pretty much down the middle. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.